some of our fine feathered friends really need a helping hand right That's now. That's right. New at six, KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel tells us why sick geese are showing up on frozen lakes and rivers and what's being done to help them. If you want to find geese, you don't have to go very far. We're just south of downtown Des Moines here at the Scott Street Dam. <laughs> When the wind chill sinks below zero, even Canada geese have trouble dealing with the cold. Their usual waterways freeze and they turn to eating dead fish called shad, and that may be causing them harm. A couple weeks ago, we started getting reports of geese stuck to ice on the Des Moines River near downtown. Jenny Boonjakukul is the founder of Iowa Bird Rehabilitation, a group that rescues sick and injured birds. She says the shad the geese are eating might be causing brain damage. This video shows what happens when the geese lose control of their muscles and appear to have a broken neck. Unfortunately, the shad produces an enzyme that um, degrades vitamin B in the, in the body and then the geese develop neurological signs. So a sick goose is reported, the group tries to rescue the bird and give it vitamin B, and that seems to do the trick. Bunjakukul knows skeptics may not understand why it's important to save wild geese, but... Whether or not you love geese, if you see a, a goose, you know, suffering, um, struggling in the water, I think people still want to help. And if you'd like to help the geese or other rescue birds, you can donate to iowabirdrehab.org. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.